How do firms in the digital age compare with those of the industrial past? Industrial enterprises grew large thanks to economies of scale and scope in production, which meant managing many physical assets and activities. Digital firms are more specialised, but are also much bigger than their industrial counterparts. They have scale, but not scope. This happens because the resources of digital firms, software, algorithms and data are highly scalable. They allow faster growth and create increasing value with more output. Unlike industrial firms, whose output growth was limited by physical constraints and costs of transportation to distant markets, digital firms more easily expand and gain economies of scale. Industrial firms also need to lower prices to sell more units, as the demand curve illustrates. Digital firms, by contrast, can access global markets through the internet and offer services whose value increases with greater customer adoption thanks to network effects. Thus, to scale, digital firms may not even need to lower prices. However, the scalability of digital firms also increases their opportunity costs of expanding beyond their core domain. Consider Twilio, a cloud vendor providing communication tools to major companies. Twilio outsources its cloud infrastructure to providers like Amazon and relies heavily on others, complementers, to develop applications for its clients. Why? Because Twilio creates more value by focusing on its core business and maximizing its tremendous growth potential while outsourcing complementary activities. The scalability of digital firms therefore leads them to hyper-specialize. But specialization also incentivizes growing the scalable resource bundle. This virtuous feedback loop leads digital firms to hyperscale.